Hello guys, uh, this is Nabil from Auto Repair Champs. Got an interesting one for you today. Uh, I've got a 2006 Mercedes-Benz E-Class. It's an E350. And the problem with this uh, vehicle, we got it from another shop. Uh, a customer replaced their transmission. It had a problem. They replaced the transmission and uh, the transmission they put in is uh, not working. So whatever you do with your uh, with your gear, it just does not shift any gears. Um, you put it on neutral, park, drive, it's just like you're not doing anything. And uh, so the customer brought it in and said, hey, you know, we just replaced the transmission and uh, it's not shifting completely like not shifting not engaging any gears hooked up my scanner looked at the gears it's responding so what whenever you move to shift one two three or the d drive uh, it's reading correctly but the gears are not engaging in the transmission so we brought it in um and you know the customer said hey you know see what you can do and you know, with these kind of vehicles I know from past is uh, you need to replace the valve body in these transmissions because each one has data and information specific to certain vehicles. So in some cases, you're able to reprogram those modules to the car that you put in the transmission in example would be this car has bad transmission you replace it with a used transmission and then you're able to reprogram the used transmission to read the correct data for that specific vehicle in other ve in uh, in other examples you need to remove the valve body if it's not damaged from the old transmission and put it into the transmission that you just put in in our case, that's what we need to do. So, got a map. That map there, but let's not worry about that. I open up the old transmission here. That's the bottom of it. That's the cover. It's been, it's been held by four screws on each corner. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think six of them. And this is just a, not a screw, but it's... Uh, not and that's what the transmission looks like from the bottom and uh, based on the information that I'm looking at, at is you need to remove those torques to remove this valve body it's uh, I believe one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, and I believe nine. So, guys, sorry I got interrupted here. Um, <clears throat> three, four, five. Yeah, so, I got nine bolts out with size torque 80. Torque three zero, uh, and that's what it looks like. It's torques, and <clears throat> let me show you where I got them from. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I got ten right there. Um, let's see where is. Oh, right here. So these are five and five, so 10 of them. And what you need to do at this point is gently just use tray bar like this and just gently lift this up. Okay, now make sure this hook is right in there. 
Okay, so you gotta be careful when you lift this up. And just gently start lifting this up. And that's all there is into it. I'm gonna actually use my both arms to lift this up. So uh, I'm gonna have to put the camera down I'm using my uh, right arm to record this. And I'll get it out and I'll show you what it looks like. Basically what, what we're doing, this is the, supposedly, this is the bad transmission, the old one. We're just removing the valve body, the transmission valve body from the old one and put it into the new, which is the new used one that's uh, already in the car. Uh, but let me just show you this part here and then I'll show you the rest. So that's, there is all into it. I did remove it, but I just was gonna mention to you something. So there is a little bracket here that you wanna make sure that it fits in. See, once you remove the valve body, it pops out, but this needs to line up in there. So make sure you line that, that up when you put the new one in. I think there's only one way to, for it to go in, but uh, that's, a, that's a parking position. Um, it's in and uh, so yeah this uh, you just lift this up and that's it uh, let me just show you that's all there is into it and we're gonna just set this right here and this right here just sits in the back of this for the drain I'll put this back in a minute here let's see if I can yeah it just goes into the drain plug here so let me see if I can flip this for you guys so I see a part number here and then These are the rest of the part numbers. In this uh, drain plug that we were talking about, just goes right here. And that's the electrical plug. And that's it, folks. We need to put this in the old transmission and see what happens. Okay, so after we remove the valve body for the old transmission right here, I'm not sure if there's any point of showing you how to remove the one from here because it's pretty much the same thing. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove these eight size eight and i'm gonna remove those bolts and from the vehicle and i'm gonna put the new one in not the new one the, actually the original one that was on it already all right folks so remove the pan with a filter and that's what it looks like i'm gonna go ahead and remove the same screws that we did remove from the other one uh, I believe there is 10 of them and we're gonna swap the valve body and uh, see what happens I'm not gonna show you the details of how you remove those 10 screws because uh, it's pretty straightforward and I did show it uh, on the previous uh, remove from the valve body and I did show the torque size that you needed to use but on this one, the only thing I would say is just pay attention to this. Now right now, looks like this is selected. Looks like on this, which I believe that's not park. And the park is gonna be, I believe, this one. And uh, that's it. As far as the transmission fluid, 
I'm gonna re-pour. I did save the transmission fluid right in this bucket and a little bit in this pan here. I'm gonna pour that same fluid back in because uh, that was a brand new fluid when we put in, not us, but when they put in the transmission and they did uh, put the new filter, AT filter kit with a gasket and fluid in there. And I'll keep you posted what happens when we swap the valve uh, body. Hey guys, I'm back with the good news. Um, I did put in that uh, valve body into this transmission and the gear is shifting correctly now. This is the swap that we did. A uh, couple of notes. This right here goes just like that. Okay. Make sure you unplug your harness when you remove this valve body from the transmission up there. Make sure you unplug that harness right there. Right there. When you when you remove the valve body. Uh, I'm trying to think about what other notes I can add in. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wait until this warms up and uh, set the level correctly. Uh, this video is not about the amount of fluid being used. So, um, sorry, um, I didn't cover that, but that's gonna be in a, in a separate video and I believe there's a couple out there. Um, so, thanks for watching, folks. Please like, subscribe, and support our channel. Uh, so we can continue providing the best videos out there and um, videos that you actually find helpful with uh, with your future repair or any repair that you may need. Thanks again and have a great day if it's a daylight and have a good night if it's evening. We'll see you with another one.